Hi, I'm Miles Johnson. Today we're going to talk about how domestic violence is viewed and dealt with in a custody proceeding. So domestic violence um, comes in many shapes and forms. Um, it can be physical, emotional, um, or, or harassment, um, intimidation, um, unwanted contact. Um, it, basically, if you, one person is put in an uncomfortable position by someone that was, they were in an intimate relationship um, and it's harmful, it, it probably can fall under that domestic violence um, statute. So what does this mean for your custody case? What a court will likely not do is say that this person who has been the victim of domestic violence deserves more parenting time because of that. Or this person that's been the perpetrator of domestic violence deserves less time because of that. Right? Um, if the kids were involved while that domestic violence occurred, take everything I just said, put it in a box somewhere and lock it up. Right? Because that's child abuse if the kids are witnessing domestic violence. But assuming the kids weren't there and there's not a nexus between the, those um, violent acts or behavior and the children, how is domestic violence considered? It's considered when we're talking about decision making. Not parenting time, decision making. Right? What the court doesn't want and seeks to avoid is a situation where uh, an aggressor, if you will, um, makes the decisions unilaterally and I'm saying that kind of tongue-in-cheek because it's not unilaterally it would be a joint decision but if a person uses intimidation or threats of violence or or harassment things like that just to get their way it's really a unilateral choice it's not joint and the court wants to avoid that situation in its entirety um, so if there has been acts of domestic violence um, bring it up to your attorney bring it up to the court and let them know about it so that when it comes down to deciding how decisions are to be made um, that can be considered and sole decision making can be awarded when appropriate. And if you're a victim of domestic violence um, there are avenues that you can pursue to ideally get you out of that, that cycle of violence um, one being a protection order and I will talk um, in detail about protection orders um, in another video.